Hello, Ken Weller, New Tech Inventors. We're up here in my bonus room at the house, and I have three printers here that I'm getting ready to run for you. This is the FL Sun Delta printer. This is a King Rune KP3 printer, and we have the old ANET ET4 printer. I actually brought this one up from the print farm because I didn't have any of the ET4s up here. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start all three of these printers and we're going to be printing the same part. And the part that we're going to be printing is this little filler part for the helping hand. And it's a simple small part. should print fairly fast. And what I'm doing I've got the standard settings on this KP3. We're printing with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Then I'm running this FL Sun with the 0.4 millimeter nozzle. And we're going to kind of see how the Delta printer does against this King Room printer and see if one has an advantage over the other as far as speed. Now the ANET ET4 printer here is one that I brought up from the print farm and the printers that I have down there are set to print at a higher speed for several parts. Parts like this. This one actually has a 0.8 millimeter nozzle and it's had uh, some of the settings tweaked a little bit on it. We're going to kind of see how my production printers perform compared to standard setups on printers that you might purchase. And they're all printing the same identical part. So without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start these printers. Okay, all three printers are preheated and should start printing here in just a few seconds. Okay, we've got all three of them printing now. Remember what we're trying to figure out here, I wanted to let you see these printers all printing the same part, but also we want to kind of compare and see if the Delta printer is going to be able to print faster than this King Rune as far as getting this part out. And then we're going to compare that to this production ANET ET4 printer of mine which is souped up a little bit. Uh, it's printing with a 0.8 millimeter nozzle and has some tweaked settings on it to give me some good performance at a higher rate of speed printing. Obviously, the faster you can print a part with a printer, the better off you're going to be. That's less time that the printer is operating, which gives you less time for something to go wrong. And at the same time, it can increase production. If I were to fill up that work area with those parts, that printer could print for about 12 hours or more, printing a large quantity of parts. I think we can see how this Delta printer is doing. I'm 
and then we come over here and look at the part that we're printing on the king room then last we come over here and we'll look at the a net FL Sun Delta printer was the first one to start and you can kind of see where it's at and then you come over here and you can see that we're much farther along on this ANET printer The same thing with the king room. Okay, wasn't paying attention, but it looks like our part has finished printing over here on the A-net. Okay, that part's finished printing. This part's getting really close. And this one's also getting close. Printer is getting close to finishing. This is the part that we're setting out to make right here. This one's getting close, and of course, Amit's been finished for quite a while now. So, we'll wait for the King Room and the FL Sun to finish their printing, then we'll do our comparison. Okay, our part's finished here on the King Room. It's finished on the A-Net. Let that, that one cool down a little bit, and we'll wait for this one to finish over here on the Delta printer. Okay, we're finished on the FL Sun. This bed's still a little warm. Let it cool down a little bit for it to release there. Let's go ahead and take the one off. Came right off of... That's the one off of the ANET, this is the one off the King Room, and this sh should pop off, yep, and that's the one off the FL Sun. Now, to test these, what we're going to do is use this, first we'll check the 
ANAT ET4 and the part works fine check the king run part and it works fine and check the FL Sun part and it works so all the parts fit which means that they meet our specifications in that respect the other thing is if you're looking at them and I'm going to take the camera here really can't tell a lot of difference uh, I think the quality is all good with them so there are the parts three pretty much matching the prototype here or the original that we were gauging everything on we'll calculate the time okay here are the results as you can see the ANET ET4 over here finished printing this part in 28 minutes the King Rune right here KP3 printed the same part in 58 minutes and the FL Sun I've got it printing something else right now just as a test printed the same part in 77 minutes so you can see the ET4 was much faster but But you've got to remember that it's set up for production and it's got an 8.8 millimeter nozzle, 0.4 for the King Rune, and 0.4 for the FL Sun. Now the difference in nozzle size has a lot to do with the speed, but you can also see that 58 minutes compared to 77 they both had the point four. I really don't quite understand that myself. That's why I'm running a test print over here on this FL Sun. Because I actually thought that the FL Sun and the King Room would print this part in about the same amount of time. But I knew the ANET ET4 was going to be faster. Because it's set up to run a lot faster. And if you noticed in the video you can see as this thing's feeding the spool's barely turning and this one's moving pretty fast it's consuming a lot more filament laying it down faster fewer layers and so forth but we still came out with acceptable very similar parts you can barely tell a difference in them I can tell a, that this one's a little more grainy then not quite as smooth finish but it functions perfectly well and that's the main thing that we need for producing this type of part the whole idea of this print comparison was to let you know that when you're setting up these printers you can print the same identical part and depending on the setup of the printer get completely different results 28 minutes compared to 77 minutes to print a part can make a big difference in the overall cost of actually printing some of these parts anyone that's planning on getting into 3d printing needs to experiment around a little bit with your printer because i guarantee you i can get this fl sun print this part a lot faster than this. I can even improve the speed considerably on the King Room. And I can do a little bit better than that with the ANET, but you have to be careful because you don't want to lose the quality of the print and it is possible to push things a little bit too far. So until the next time, 
Happy printing from New Tech Inventors.